For anyone who feels tired, overworked, or has been on their feet all day, this one is for you. First things first, I want you to be comfortable. So if sitting on the floor is not, I want you to prop yourself up on the couch or a chair. We'll begin with the right foot. I just want you to relax it completely and just take it in a little circle. Let the hands do the work. Reverse the direction. And I want you to take the left hand, slide it down the foot. Now make sure that you don't have a sickle here. So I want a nice neutral foot. And gently pull the toes towards you so that we can feel a stretch in the top portion of the ankle here. And if you haven't done this in a while, you probably feel this already. You can also use your right thumb on the inner arch, push into the foot, and just kind of try to curl the toes around. Right? So I'm feeling a nice stretch there. Alternatively, you can also use your right fist on the calf. I can tuck my elbow to my side body and then push in. Right? So I'm still curling the toes towards me. This is an area we kind of don't really take time to stretch. And release, give me that little circle. And you'll use both hands. This is like a flossing technique. So I'm gonna go right across the top of the foot. I'm just gonna kind of move back and forth just to feel all those joints and bones in there. And one toe at a time, I want you to give it a little tug and a little pull, right? So I'm gonna tug, pull, and twist. Tug and twist. Usually you'll hear a little pop or crack in there that you didn't realize you had. This little piggy went to the market. All right, and from here, I want you to start with the left fingers and see if you can weave through the bottom of the foot. So I want you to go between each toe if possible. And if it's tolerable, then you can try a little circular churn. If this is not tolerable, that might mean you should probably do this more often, right? So just keep that in mind. Arthritis prevention too. Try spreading the fingers. Now, if this doesn't hurt and you've done this before, you would be using the other hand. So that if I come in through the top versus the bottom, you can get a little more stretch, right? So if that is tolerable, just keep that in mind. You can go in with the right hand versus the left. And go ahead and release. I want you to use your thumbs on the inner arch and flex your feet. So I want you to pull the toes back, creating some activity there. And with your thumbs, I want you to feel on the inner arch and see if you could feel that thick tendon right across that inner part of the arch. And I just want you to kind of massage and knead it, right? So this is the area where we may have um, an issue which causes plantar fasciitis. And if you haven't had that, you're lucky. If you have had it, you are fully aware of that pain. I probably should make a video for you on that, and I will do that, I promise. But there are some things we can do to offset it and hopefully heal it for good. Use your thumb knuckles, right? So I'm gonna come up and down and go side to side. I like to keep nice active toes here. And then one last time, give me that little stretch, pulling in. Actually push the toes into your hand to really emphasize that stretch. And then just gently give me one more little circular churn. And let's switch sides. Just notice how you're feeling on that right foot. I feel like I have a whole new foot feel very needed right now. 
Try to relax this left side. Give it a circle. Reverse. All right, and slide down to the foot. So I'm gonna go down to the toes. Curl in, feeling this across the top of that left ankle, maybe into the shin, right? Thumb in the inner arch, option one, or I like to use the fist, hooking on the side body, so I can really push that calf away and pull the toes towards me. Taking this into your floss, I'm just going to go up and down. So I just want you to take a moment to appreciate, right, I can feel all the bones in my feet. So our hands and our feet have more bones than the rest of our body. And yet, typically, they get the least amount of attention. Until something goes wrong, then they get all of our attention, but so important, right? Sometimes this is the less glamorous part of our practice. All right, tug, twist and pull. A little tug and twist. You can usually feel a little pop or crack in the joints. A good time to do this would be, especially if you feel like you need to spend a little bit more time on this type of stuff, is maybe when you get out of the shower, right, putting on lotion or something, and just spend a little extra time there, especially something like this, if that's painful. So fingers start underneath. Do your best with this one. I know some people do struggle with it. Spreading the toes, maybe coming in from the top. And let's use both thumbs, flex the foot, so pull the toes back towards the knee and just massage that inner arch. Another purpose for this inner arch and why it's so important is it's our shock absorber, right? So having the arch there almost acts like uh, similar to a bridge. So if you were ever on a bridge and you felt that little bit of movement, that prevents the bridge from cracking, right? So when we have an arch, it provides a cushion for our joints, right? So we have less pain in our knees, for example. That's why flat feet can be such a problem. We can do muscle exercises to increase our arch, right, if we do have flat feet. Build it up. All right, use your knuckles. You can come up and down and back and forth, right? So go in both directions. Nice active toes here. All right, and then one more time. Come across the top of the foot. Push the toes into your hand. And roll that ankle. Both directions. All right. Hopefully you feel the TLC for those feet. If you're feeling just as fatigued in the mind as you are in the body and you have time, maybe take this into a meditation right here. Hopefully I'll see you there or maybe we can meet back here for a little more TLC. Namaste.